go ahead and uh, hit that raised hands feature and we'll get started. All right, we're going to start with, hold on a sec, Jerry, I'm getting to you. Start with Jerry Tipton with Lexington Herald Leader. Go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, hi, Cameron. Uh, how uh, how would you describe uh, your brother Jalen's influence on you and, and how he's uh, helped you progress? Uh, I say uh, he's a very good big brother. He taught me a lot on and off the court as a young man because my father wasn't really around, but he was like a father figure to me. So he taught me a lot off the court and on the court. So he's a big influence in my life. What stands out as a follow? What stands out in your mind? Things that he helped you with, or you know, conveyed to you that have helped you. Uh, he just tell me just not worry about anybody else, just worry about myself and how I'm working. Thanks. All right. Next, we'll go with uh, Jack Pogram, Kentucky Sports Radio. Go ahead, Jack. What was the vibe like on, on Wednesday afternoon when when news of Olivier and, and Jacobs waiver went through and, and kind of what's the what's been the vibe since then knowing that they are they're both eligible and ready to go for the season? We've just been excited. The two two big factors of the team, so we've just been excited. What what do they bring to the table? What you know, what have you seen from Olivier early on? And and I you know, we, we got to see Olivier a whole lot, um, you know, at Wake Forest, but Jacobs kinda like that unknown. What is what does he bring to the table especially? Just energy. He plays hard. He go. He gonna do what the coach asks him to do. He's a good teammate. Looks out for others. Yeah, he a very good dude. All right. Next up, we'll go with Jeff Drummond. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, Cameron. We've heard a lot about uh, practices being really competitive early on, and and things like that. Who do you? usually get matched up with in, in practice and who do you really like competing against? Uh usually it's either Lance or BJ. Uh I say I like I like going against both of them because Lance he's strong and he just makes me more physical. And BJ, he a very he, he a very good athlete. And he just make me he make me better on defense. You got a follow-up, Jeff, or are you good? Yeah, that, kind of one of Cal's things over the years, uh, you know, for guys getting early playing time has, has been defense. Is that a, a big focus for you, trying to, to kind of work your way into his rotation? Uh, yeah, yeah. I love defense myself. So, before anything, I like defense. Defense wins games. Right. Thank you. Jerry, I'm not sure I didn't know if I lowered your hand or not. Do you got another question? Or does that mean I'm moving it? Trying to unmute you, Jerry. There we go. Hold on. Try it again there, Jerry. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Cameron, I wonder, uh, uh, again, uh, with Jalen, uh, how good of a player was he? And, uh, you know, how much... Uh, how thrilling is it, do you think, for your family that you're playing at Kentucky? Very thrilling. Uh, some people never thought I'd be here, so I just worked my tail off to get here. And I just want to prove everybody wrong. And how about your brother's game? How uh, how good was he? Uh, he was very good. He was nice. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, just a reminder, if you got questions for Cameron, use that raise hands feature. All right, we'll go to Keith Taylor. Go ahead, Keith. Hey, Cameron, how would you describe your game for people that haven't seen you play before? Uh, I'm a dog. I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to get dirty. I'm going to do all the little things. Anything else, Keith? Yeah, like follow up. I mean, when you say you get dirty and get on, does that mean get on the floor, do the little things to help the team win? Is that what you mean by that? Yeah. In what way? Um, loose balls. I'm going for all the loose balls. I'm playing defense. I don't want anyone to score on me. I'm just an animal. All right, next up, we'll go back to Jack Pilgrim with KSR. Go ahead, Jack. 
before the season, you know, lead, leading up to you heading to Lexington, uh, you you know, you kind of talked about how you were built for this, how you, how excited you were for you know the culture, the hard practices, all that. Now that you're here, what you know, is it what you expected? What were you know, what were your ex- expectations going into it versus you know how things are going right now? How how do you like practices and, and how things are going? Uh, I knew it was going to be challenging and hard. I'm just doing what coach asked me to do. And practice is going good right now. Your mom said uh, that when, when you guys got that little break to, to come back, she said that you were just exhausted, you were sore. Uh, you know, just, just how hard was, were those first couple weeks get, you know, leading into things? And, and uh, how, how much was that – how important was that break where you were able to go home for that, for that week? Uh, the first couple weeks coming in, I was exhausted because, you know, COVID. So I really ain't been in the gym before that. So my body was just – had to get back used to it. So I was just exhausted and tired. Jerry, looks like you got another one coming back to you. Uh, Cameron, how would you compare uh, life before COVID for you with life now as COVID? How – what sort of adjustments have you had to make? Me – like, I had to sacrifice going out and stuff. Nobody want to catch corona. So, like, going out and stuff, don't really go out no more at all. Just trying to be safe and inside. I don't want to get nobody else COVID. And the season right around the corner. So, it's just best for me to stay inside right now. And I wonder, too, uh, how often do people mispronounce your name? A whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it, don't, it, don't, I don't, it don't matter to me, though. Thank you. Jeff Drummond, coming back to you. All right. Can I just go with Cam to be on the safe side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I was wondering, uh, a lot of you guys crossed paths on the AAU circuit before you get here. Had you matched up with Terrence uh, much before and, and, and played with, against him? And what kind of parts of his game, uh, since you've both been here, have you, have you kind of – enjoyed watching or admired? Uh, he's a floor general. He gets everybody involved. He don't just think about himself. He like a team type of player. So he's not selfish or nothing. That's just the type of people I like being around. They're just like, like the team to be involved in everything and just not themselves. That's the type of guy he is. Had you guys gone up against each other before? Yeah. So the, earlier you said, you know, you don't like anybody scoring on you and, you know, defense is big. Uh, did you get the better of those matchups or or did you have to drop a few? <laughs> oh, for sure. All right, we'll go back to you, Jack. Go ahead, Jack. Terrence said uh, if there was a dunk contest on the team, between it, it would likely be between him, Jacob Toppin, and Isaiah Jackson. But I feel like you should have some say in that as well, you know, being – being as athletic and, and you had some some pretty strong dunks in, in, in high school as well, you know, who who would you think would win in that uh, dunk contest at, at Kentucky? I know it's going to be Jacob. Jacob going to win it. Why, why is that? Just just how explosive is he? Just, you know, he, just. He just got a lot of dunks in his package. He he explosive, though. He, he got he got bounce. Don't get me wrong. He, he, he got a lot of dunks in his package, though. He, some stuff that I can't do, he can do do, do you think he can be a, an immediate impact guy? The kind of ex- expectation going into the year was that he was going to redshirt, kind of develop his body, develop his game a little bit. Do you think he's a guy that could come in and, and help day one? Yeah, yeah. The whole th- we need everybody. So yeah. All right, guys. We'll give another couple seconds here if you got any more questions. I'm out of questions at the time at the moment. Last call here. Jerry, looks like you got another one. Come back to you. Yeah, one last one for me, Cameron. I I read that uh, you had a habit of eating candy before games, and uh, Coach Flynn uh, earlier said uh, he didn't think eating sweets was a good idea for anybody before the game. I'm wondering if that's been addressed with you and all that. Nah, it just give me energy and get me pumped up. So that's why I do it. 
What sort of candy do you eat? Like Skittles, sour passes. <laughs> Thanks. Jeff, looks like you got another one. Go ahead. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what some of your early impressions are of, of Coach Cal and, and what practices have been like for him. Uh, he very energetic. Uh, he just I just noticed that he just liked to win. He don't really like doing all the extra stuff. He just liked to win. He very hard on us. And some of the stuff is like, it's confusing right now, but he's taking his time with us because he know we ain't never played this type of basketball, so... He's just taking his time with us right now. But he he's a very good coach. Have you picked up on any of the little things yet with him that seem to make the big difference? Yeah. What what would be a couple of examples? Like um some of the sets we got right now. It's just confusing because we never played this way. But he break it down to us every day and just tell us like what we need to do and tell us the small things to do. So as he break it down, I just put it in my head and I go over it after practice and work on it with another coach after practice, like when I'm confused about it. All right, Jack, got another one from you. I believe we are like just over a month away from the season. How do you, how do you think you guys are clicking right now? And uh, you know, just how special do you think this team can be? A lot of the players and coaches in the past have said there's like a buzz of, of, uh, you know that this this team could be something special. Are you getting that? You know, getting that sense, and and how are how are things clicking with with a month to go until the season starts? It's a process, but we we still working. We still working right now. All right, guys. If we don't see more questions, we will uh, we can end it there. Um, guys, just as a reminder, first of all, thanks, Cam. We really appreciate you joining us today and taking some time to meet with everyone. Uh, just a reminder to.